Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. Um, I'd like to say a big uh, welcome to all my new subscribers. Very nice to, to have you uh, along. Um, I haven't really got an awful lot uh, to show you today. I just thought I'd come on and say hello and just show one or two things. Um, I've been sending a lot of cards just lately because I've sent out quite a few racks and I like to put a card in with the racks. Um, a lot of them, I've made them and they've gone straight out, but I've got two here uh, to show you. I'm trying a different camera angle. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we'll, we'll, we'll try it anyway. Um, I made these two cards. They're the same colours. I hope the lighting's all right. I'm trying a different way of lighting as well. Yeah, we'll see. Um, they're both blue and cream, but I've done them the opposite way round. Started with the, the blue mat there and the cream mat there. I saw somebody on a television craft programme doing some cards there, and they did blue and cream, and I thought, a lovely combination. So I've done those um, with beautiful dye, which is this one here, which I got from a magazine last year or the year before. It's, it's beautiful. Well, I, I think it's, it's, it's a beautiful dye. So I did those two and um, I did a little bit of matting and layering inside just to write a message. So those are just two really that uh, that's I've got to show you today. Um, over the weekend I thought I'd better start on Easter cards. So I started these are all cards uh, with all the, um, we go going like a, a mad woman with my die cutting machine. So I've been cutting out lots and lots of mats and layers for all of these. I don't know how many there are. I've covered the front of that one. But it's going to have, that'll have something, a um, uh, mat and layer and, and a, probably a sticker. Um, that one I've just covered the front there with that. In fact, I've done two of those bunny paper. I think I've, I found that on Pinterest and uh, I printed that out. Um, this one as well, which is very sweet. So these have just been... Uh, that's all I've done, is, is just done all this. And then the rest of these, I've, uh, I had a black and white uh, paper pad, which I hadn't used, and I'd had it all oh, year, two years. And uh, I thought I'd start using it, so I've just done lots of um, mats and layers. I've got some gorgeous dyes, as you can see. So this is what I was doing all weekend. I don't know how many cards I've prepared, but they all these just want sticking on, and then I can put a, a topper on. Some of them are Easter cards, and some of them could be other cards. Now this is a card blank I made myself from a die. Beautiful die. It's a tonic scallop square set. I think there's five dies in the set. Uh, when I come on, I haven't got them out now, so I'll put them away, but when I come on and show you the cards that I've made, I'll show you the dies that I've used. The tonic dies that I've got are so lovely and they look nice. All laid up. So as I say, I don't know how many cards there are. These were some oops, <laughs> pa 
paper chains. I bought these last year. Could have been from the pound shop or the works. So they're just strips. They were to make paper chains for Easter. So I've stuck those on there. And I've I've done some uh, mats and layers to go on the front and then inside. So Two of those, these with the paper chains, I got, I think I showed them to you a couple of weeks ago. I got them from, could have been Home Bargains or the Pound Shop, I'm not sure. But I did show them on a haul video. And these are wider, so there's just four there. Because on the ones I got last year. There's five, they're narrower, they are. So I did two of those, and these are also the chains, paper chains, that I just uh, laid four on. Oh, dropping the, uh, I've got all the, the bits inside that I've been die cutting over the weekend to, to stick on, so I've just fallen out of that one, but I'll pick it up after. Right, so that lot, Putting that lot together is going to take me a fair while, but I will show you them when I've done them. I might even come on and do one on video. So that's that. Oh, now, I bought this month's Making Cards magazine, and... In it was CD-ROM with uh, boys, that is boy themed. So for me that's useful because I send off cards to boys and it can be a bit, a bit difficult, especially older boys. It's difficult to, um, to find things to put on their cards. So that's going to be useful to me. And as usual, and I'm going to best way to do this to show you not sure um we'll have a go bear with me please <laughs> um these papers as usual you get all these papers and this month some of them are dinosaur themed and i do have a little boy that i'm going to send a card to who's interested in dinosaurs so this is very these are the um, the backing papers. Some of them are backing papers, and some of them have got the, the dinosaurs on them. So I can cut those out. So those are going to be uh, very useful for me at the moment. Some more. I think that's all the toppers. Yeah. So the rest are their backing papers. It's got balloons on, so they're birthday themed. Some of those. Yeah, this is happy birthday. It's a definitely birthday themed. The colours on that. I don't think that the camera's actually picking the colours up on that. Very, very vibrant. And also, apart from getting the magazine, the CD roll. Pack of papers. There's four teddies. <laughs> There's four teddies. There's happy birthday to you. There's a balloon. Which any of the teddies could be holding. That one could be holding it back. And some bunting. There. So I really like those. I, I just couldn't resist getting those. So, so that's this month's Making Cards magazine, and it's, it's that one, the butterfly on the front. And then I bought, I went to the works, 
bought a couple of paper pads. This is, it just says, design block on it. There's, let me see, 250 grams, so they're an excellent weight. I mean, I was just thinking before I started filming, you could actually make a card blank out of these papers. There's 40 sheets, two designs, sorry, two sheets of 20 designs, double-sided. So, let's have a go. Let's see if I can show you. Yes, they are, they're very pretty. It's a lovely quality paper, it really is. Um, 250 grams, I say, I'm sure you. I mean, that is, is just one sheet, you know, you can feel how thick it is. So, I, I think you could. Hard blanket that was three pounds from the works and it measures it's got it in centimeters it's 25 by 25 centimeters which in English is just under just a smidgen under 10 by 10 that one oh, I think that's fantastic value for three pounds this is also three pounds from the works. It's also, this is 12 by 12. It's also 250 gram weight and it's called Mix and Match. Fabulous roses, it's fabulous roses. It says Mix and Match there. And there's 24 sheets. I think there's two of each, so... I'll just see if I can show you these. Gorgeous. That's got a, a big, um, a big, I don't know if that's the tea rose. And then different pink shaded stripes. This one's very pretty, white with some pink flowers. Some bolder stripes there. And that's pink with a white design on it. Lovely roses. And a, a, a deep pink there. That's white with pink roses. And then pink uh, with the white this cross. It's a pretty dotty one. There's dots there with the roses on. So there's two of each. Then we've got those two roses again. They're, uh, I think they're very, very pretty, and I think they are very, very good value. That one, I love that one. That's really, really pretty. That one. So that probably won't get used. <laughs> that one will be to look at and put away. I say, oh no, I'll use one of the others. It's too nice to use. So that's. 12 by 12, and just three pounds from the works, which uh, it's marvellous value. I really think it is. Right, I think that's about it for today, uh, everyone. As I say, there were just some bits and pieces to show you. 
Um, and I just wanted to come on anyway and just say hello and thank you for subscribing and thank you for all the lovely comments and, and all that sort of thing. And hope everybody's okay. And I'll see you soon.